Hi everyone, just making sure that works sound a bit technologically backward. Um, so look, I am obviously working at KPMG, my role is to oversee all our graduate recruitment, so we run four programs. So our graduate recruitment program, our vacation program, our cadet program and also our co-op program. So I've been with the business only for about seven weeks now and um, very new. Before that, I was at Coles, um, at the head office, looking after their national graduate recruitment program. So it's a bit different for me, working in professional services, um, but essentially what I do and deliver is the same. So thus far, in my 7.25 weeks, I think, I'm really, really enjoying my role. So um, as uh, you know, Karen has mentioned and Bruce has mentioned as well, we do take on international students at KPMG. Um, however, we only take it for our accounting graduate program. So our graduate program, we do you know, welcome applicants from various backgrounds and various majors and qualifications. But from an international student perspective, it's only accounting students that we take. And it's only because of the organisation that we are. We are a big four accounting firm. And um, hence the reason why we only take on accounting students is it's part of the skilled occupation list that um, you know, Jensen did allude to earlier on. So we do have a few um, accounting graduates that are international students that are working with us at the moment and that's why they are enjoying it as well. So basically what we look for is someone that's studied in Australia for the last two years, is studying an accounting major, um, has an IELTS score of seven in every band and can prove that they can obtain their permanent residency themselves without us sponsoring them. We don't sponsor any international students. Um, on top of that, what we look for as well is um, you know, a well-rounded applicant. So we look for those people that can demonstrate good tertiary um, qualifications and I guess marks. So by no means are we looking for someone with a HD average, we're looking for someone with a credit average, you know, mid to high credit average. Um, in their tertiary degree to date, and um, those people that can demonstrate the other soft skills that we're looking for, like the interpersonal skills, the communication skills, the problem solving skills, um, ability to work in a team, and um, we also do look for extracurricular activities, so your volunteer work experience as well. So that's something that you can highlight on your application form. And another thing that we look at is the actual application form. So make sure there are no spelling mistakes, make sure that you've read your responses a few times. And just to give you a bit of an overview about what our application process entails, it's um, an online application process, as, uh, as is common with every other organisation. I'm sure no one accepts applications by, um, by post nowadays. I think that stopped in the 1970s. But um, online application where we'll ask you a few competency questions, so we'll ask you a few questions about um, you know, your experiences that you can draw upon. We will also um, then ask you to you know, attach your academic transcript and then what we'll do is once we view your application form, we'll send you some online psychometric testing, so some verbal and numerical testing and if you meet the minimum percentile that we have in place, which is quite, um, it's quite easy to attain that score, then we will invite you to um, a assessment centre. So the assessment centre will be two interviews and a written exercise as well. So interviews with our partners and our senior managers and then after that hopefully um, you will receive an offer. So that's the standard application process for any of our programs given that you are international students. Can I see um, everyone can raise their hand if you're an accounting major? I don't think there were many before. Okay, we've still got some hope there at KPMG there. Um, so a few students there, so by all means you are eligible to apply if you don't have your 